Hi, in this tutorial we're going to look at how to work with lists. There are two different types of lists that we can deal with. One is an ordered list and an unordered list. In the page that we're going to apply this to, I have a page under the newborn packages, which is part of the pricing. And we have some content in here and we have the details about the newborn package. And it's just a little short paragraph here. And what we would like to do is to draw attention to it and make it stand out more. And one technique to do that is to put some items like this into a list. So we're gonna turn this into a bulleted list. So in my code, if I come over, I look, I have details and then we have each of the items listed in here. Now again, since the web browser is basing how it's formatting it on HTML tags and we don't have any, it's just running them all together. So what we wanna do is to turn this into a list. I'm going to start by going onto the line before I start my list and the tag to create an unordered list is UL. So UL for unordered list. And then at the end of the list, I'm gonna put in a closing UL tag. And so that means that the items that are in between are unordered list items. Now in order for the browser to know where to put a bullet and when one list item starts and stops, we use LI tags to designate each of the list items. So we use LI for list item. So then the browser will know to put a bullet here. And at the end of the line, I put in the closing LI tag. And I'm gonna repeat that for each of the lines in my unordered list. Okay, so now I'm going to save this and then refresh it in my browser. And you can see that we have a nicely formatted unordered list. Now, a couple of things to be aware of. First of all, inside UL tags, the only things that you should have inside here are LI tags. It's not considered proper format to then go ahead and put in a paragraph of text in here. If I do, you can see what the browser is trying to do with it. All right, it puts the paragraph in here, but it's not part of the list. And later on, when you look at validation, this would cause an error. So it's not it's not good form and not considered proper to put anything else inside an unordered list except LI tags. Now that doesn't mean that inside an LI tag we can't put a link to something else in here. Um, so if we wanted a word in there to link to something we could have an anchor tag with where it was going to link to. All right, so that is considered acceptable because that is all contained inside the LI tag. So your content inside a list all belongs within LI tags. Now you see that at the end of the LI tag here, it creates a line break and moves this down to the next line. So each time we have an opening LI tag, it gave us a bullet. Now on the other hand, for an ordered list, an ordered list is going to be something that is in a particular order. So I, all you need to do is change UL to OL. And when I save this and refresh, you'll see that now we have one, two, three, four. Now we have some control over how these display and the preferred technique to control this is by using style sheet formatting. So I'm gonna put this back to an unordered list and we'll look at some of the style formatting that we can do. So I'm going to refresh this and put it back to bullets. So in order to format our unordered list, I'm going to open up our style sheet. And our page is already set up to use this style sheet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that the tag that we're using is an unordered list, so it's a UL tag. And then inside the curly braces, to specify the style that I want it to use. So the, I'm going to choose list style type 
and then the one that I want it to use. So one is actually none. So let's show you what none looks like. Now if I save my style sheet and then I refresh this, you can see that we don't have any bullets. Let's look at some of the other types. The disk type, that is the default. So without even specifying it, that's the type that is applied. We also have square. So we can get little square boxes in here. Now if we had a type that was an ordered list, so I'll just put an example of some style in here for an ordered list. We still would say list style type and we can say something like decimal. Now since this is set up for an unordered list, I have to go back in to my page and we'll change this to an ordered list so that you can see what this will do with that style. Okay, so I've changed this to an ordered list now. I'm going to go back and refresh this. All right, so decimal is the default, one, two, three, four. We can also put in something like upper alpha to have uppercase alphabetic letters. We could have lower alpha in order to have lowercase letters. We can have lower Roman. Yes, and then we can also have Upper Roman. So those are some examples of ways that we can change the UL and OL tags.